When I was in my mid-twenties, um, I was living in New York City. I was going to graduate school at NYU. It had been a big transition for me because I grew up in Southern California and I went to a small liberal arts college and then all of a sudden I was in the big city. Uh, I hated it. I mean, there were some exciting things about it, but in general I felt really stressed and pressured and I, and I didn't like it. So my plan was to uh, get a special fellowship grant, kind of like the Fulbright, but it's not the Fulbright when in Germany it's called the German Exchange Program grant. I had always gotten everything that I had applied for having to do with like languages, graduate school, and um, I applied for it. And I should also say that at, at the time that I applied for it, I had quit my job for the next year at the university because I was thinking I was going to Germany. Uh, and also there were some other circumstances. I had like some bad breakup with a boyfriend. So I was really looking forward to going to Germany. Well, I didn't get the grant. I was turned down. You know, I found out about it in February and I didn't have a job, didn't have a boyfriend. I hated my life in New York. So I was pretty depressed, but I had, um, a group of friends and that were very very supportive and advice and somehow I don't know I got through that period and I managed to reconnect with an old friend and um, he helped me a lot um, in showed me looked at my application said maybe you need to apply for it again if you really want to go maybe you can go next year this friend ended up becoming my boyfriend and we became engaged within a year. I got the grant the following year and he got a grant too to go to France. So we were living, we were both living in Europe and the most exciting part of it was that the year that I went to Berlin is the year that the Berlin Wall fell. So I was able to witness that firsthand. I mean, I have pieces of the wall at home and the following summer after that, that year, I got married. So sometimes when a door closes and you think that it's the end of a road and you have nothing else, another door will open and another path becomes evident. And maybe it's not the path you would have taken originally, but the new path could sometimes be even better than the old path. You just have to like have faith and keep going on.